and welcome back to unity tutorial with the starter asset I'm now going to show you guys how to embed sound and particle effect just like you guys can see here now check that out you see that so I'm going to show you guys how to put that together so let's go into unity and I'll show you guys how it's done okay we're back into unity editing environment now so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get hold of the sound and right here I have the large explosion sound I'm gonna grab that and just dump it right inside the project tab here and that is it right there there now the next thing I want to do is I'm going to go straight into my windows here click on the window menu and let's scroll right down and get hold of the package manager inside the package manager I'm going to go straight into my asset all of the asset that I've used so far and this is what I'm looking for 48 particle effect pack select that and it's about 1.15 megabyte let's click on download and there and click on in import there we go it's coming up now all right the 48 particle effect pack is finished or has finished installing so i'm going to close that now in here what I want to do is if you guys are wondering about this very project I've left the link or the link is actually on the description area for the full tutorial if you want to see the full tutorial so what I want to try and achieve is if this character walks straight into any of these box there there I want you to explode and I would like to see the particle effect and sound that is all that this tutorial is all about so I'm gonna stop it now and let's go in there this is a prefab this very prefab was what what you guys saw shattered the other time now make sure this prefab is selected and we're gonna scroll right down here let's go to add components in there so we can even open it up So let's just click on open, open prefab. Now in here, you see where we have add component, click on add component. And the first one is going to be the, I'm going to add audio source. There we go, that's the audio source. There, I've just added that in. So the audio source in this case is going to be the explosion sound that I imported. So I'm going to drop that right in there once you add your audio source to the inspector you then come right down here you see where we have play on awake make sure it's checked loop I'm going to make sure it's not looping the volume you can reduce or increase it it's lowered so you can always do whatever you like with it so if I run it now let's hear how the audio source with audio will sound so let's just click on run it's now coming up okay let's let's go straight into one of those boxes we hear that guys that is fine so let's go to the next one here and see and see key. there we go that's fine so now what we want to do is we want to be able to add effect to it so we go back to our prefab and that is it right there wooden crate crack so scroll right down and come back in here where we have add component click on the add component now what I want is to add particle effect so I'm just going to type in particle in there so I will then select particle system this very one so click on that and right there my particle system is there so I'm going to scroll right down 
okay here you can define the duration I'm going to make it about I say three that's good enough and scroll right down even before that before I add my own particle I want to add my particle to the render there should be a particle in there already so if just a simulated one let's run it and you see what I'm talking about now that the asset particle is added we should be able to get something rolling so I'm going to get him to run towards that very box you see that that is the default particle so let's stop that now we need to add our own particle you see inside this particle properties in the scroll right down you see where we have renderer click on that and drop it down and in there we should be able to see material there we go that's the material there I'm going to click on the material click on that small icon and let's select whatever material we want okay that is one the one I'm looking for should be there somewhere so let's scroll right down we still have more there we go there they are you see them so I'm just gonna select maybe this looks a bit much pronounced so let's just double click on that and that's all there is to it so I'm gonna run it one more time click on play and it's coming up now there okay let's try it out yeah go for that box again run towards the box there we go look at the particle you see that I think I may have to increase oh yeah there's a lot of particle in there and there we go now we seem to have a problem I think the particle is in loop so okay let's stop that let's go straight to the particle and see so back into the properties of the particle itself this is it so let's scroll there's no loop here and there we go look at it looping so I'm going to uncheck the looping and there the duration I'm just going to leave it as a lifetime I'm, I'm going to leave it at five five seconds I think that is and and that's all there is to that so what I'm going to then do is I'm going to, I'm going to run it now and uh, I can assure you that the particle won't be looping anymore so click on run there we go so now let him run towards the boxes run we have run down there we go you see the particles there and that is how you create your own particles and sound in unity 3d and like i said this tutorial a completed version is on the system already this is just how to add particles and sound so with that guys i'm gonna call it the end of this tutorial i suppose you guys enjoy it you have a nice day now and bye for now.